This is the sweeper from Denise, and the sweeper is a dynamic resonant filter that sets its frequency based on the loudness of our source signal or on the uh, side chain signal. So you can do a lot of different stuff with uh, the sweeper. Here in the beginning, we are using automation. Of course, you can do that as, as, uh, as well, but let's look at the interface real quick. So the start, as you can see, just adjust this or grab your little dot in here, the start and the end of your frequency modulation. Uh, turn your sidechain on or off. However you set that up is going to depend on your, you know, on your DAW. We're in Studio One, so this is how you would set it up right there. You have your low pass or high pass. You can change your uh, filter steps here. 24 dB, uh, you know, per octave of 36, uh, 48. So if you want like a steeper filter that cuts off more or cuts off less, you can adjust that there. We can flip it around so we can flip the modulation real quick. Your input, which is going to be important, uh, because again, this can set its frequency based on the loudness of your source. You can always compensate with your output there. So input output, pretty simple. Here's your resonance filter right there. Just turn that up or down. Try some automation with that as well. The attack. So how long does it take for, for that sort of uh, modulation to occur? Then how quickly do you want that to release? These are really low. You can have like really quick wobbles or you can sort of hold it there. And the bias is just going to uh, change which side is it leaning to. So towards the lower end, towards the uh, top end. So check out this track real quick. All right, sounds pretty cool. Uh, we also have Perfect Room on this as well, also from Denise. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Now, right now I have the setup, uh, the sweeper setup uh, for the side chain, and the side chain is our drum track down here. Again, I just have it set up like this in Studio One. So now, whenever we play back, our, our kick drum here, our drum track is going to control uh, sort of our modulation here of the sweeper, and we get this really cool modulation of our synth track. Of course, I can change the uh, start and the end times, or or the you know the hertz, the frequency. If I want it to come up here, or just keep it within this area here, have it lower. That's a pretty cool use for it, is adding movement to your uh, synth tracks. Of course, you don't have to use the side chain on that. Uh, I can turn the side chain off real quick. So now it's the, the level that's controlling some of this modulation. Change your resonance. And manually automate that. Now, if I had my input way lower here, you can see how now our modulation is a bit different and compensate with my output now. Versus if I take this way up here, let's compensate here for our output. Now you can see that frequency is set much higher because our input is driving that way up. Of course, I can always change my uh, frequency here, the end or the start. Now let's check out this track. I have the sweeper bypassed right now. So really just focus here on this bass. Go ahead and pop on the sweeper now. So right now, the way I have this, I'm bringing my end frequency up here. I'm driving it a little bit on the input because again, if I have it, you know, if I have the input down, setting the frequency lower, I'm gonna drive this up. I'm driving it up around uh, to the uh, sort of picky sound, so it sort of pops through a bit more. Add some resonance on that. Really sticks out a little bit better. Compensate a little here uh, with your output. We're changing the attack here and we're holding it uh, for a little bit. So it doesn't just you know, release. As you can see how quickly that's releasing. Pull that up so it's not modulating quite so much. You can change the bias. So towards this side, towards that side. So now whenever we hear these three together, uh, the bass track is gonna stick out a little bit better now. but we can also use the side chain for that. So we're gonna use our drums again here. So now our drums are going to control that modulation and the bass is gonna stick out because again, we have this resonance on there. It's gonna stick out right when those drums are hitting. Sounds pretty cool together here.
All right, so that is the sweeper. Of course, we could sort of flip this around and set it up a little bit differently. And we could use the sweeper sort of like side chain compression, except we're sweeping away those lower end frequencies and letting that kick drum come through a little bit better. As you can see. All right, so those are a few uses there for the sweeper, a pretty cool, interesting plugin. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, head over to this site, denise.io. Of course, it will be linked below. They already have a full walkthrough and, of course, a bunch of different ways that you can use the sweeper here. A lot of different things that you can do. So head over here if you want to pick it up. You can also find it over at pluginboutique.com. All right, so that is the sweeper from Denise. Thank <laughs> you.